Good day mga Kabayan Techers! This is your The Kabayan Tech and today we're going to discuss other options for data migration. So let's begin! So our scenario for today is what if you don't have an external drive to do your time machine backup and you still have your old computer which is on the left and you have a new computer which is on the right. So this method is the cheapest way that you could do it. The only requirement for this session would be one, your old computer should be running uh, at least 10.7 or that's the Lion and then you are connected to the same Wi-Fi. So what I did on this old computer, I just placed a few files for us to just verify that the transfer did happen. So again here, we're not going to use any time machine backup. We're just going to use the old computer and the new computer. So the first step that you're going to do here is on the old computer, we're going to launch Migration Assistant. So you press Command Spacebar, type uh, Migration Assistant. So we're going to run that. For the old computer, it will give you a message here that we are going to do a transfer of information. This pertains to everything that's on the computer. We're going to click on Continue. It's going to ask you for the login password for this computer. So I'm using one, two, three, four, as my default the program migration assistant will launch and the third option is the one that we're going to use it says to another Mac so we're going to transfer the information from this computer to another Mac so we're going to choose the third option so going to the new computer let's set up the basics we're going to select Canada if you want to activate some of the accessibility feature you could do it here or you could do it later so we're going to do not now select the Wi-Fi that we want to connect once you connect to your Wi-Fi, uh, the data privacy screen will show up and we click on continue. And this is the same screen that you are looking at the older one. The only difference, it doesn't have the third option here. We're going to use from a Mac, Time Machine Backup or Startup Disk. And then we click on continue. So once you click on continue on this new computer, I'm also going to click on continue on the original computer. So on the original computer, it will make this MacBook Air that's on my left available here in the transfer information to this Mac. So we're going to choose uh, the MacBook Air. So I'm done with the left one. I'm just going to have it open. Tip on this transfer, make sure that both of them are plugged in. When it comes to the speed, it depends on the router speed that you have and how far the Wi-Fi is. Because how it works, it goes from this computer, goes to the Wi-Fi, and then goes into the computer. Click on continue. So it will show up a number, and this number should match the number from the old computer. It means that we are getting the right information from the right computer. So on my old computer, I'm going to verify that we are going to transfer it to this computer here. Click on continue on the macbook air it's looking for all the application and data to be transferred so let's just wait for this uh, process to be done and we go to the next screen so after the migration assistant analyzes the old computer it will show you all the information here so it says here it's reading system receipts and then it's looking for incompatible software also when it comes to the actual profile you could select the folders that you want to be synced up click on continue so before we proceed with this one and probably you are familiar with this screen when it comes to the uh, time machine backup it has that same process if you have multiple users so the admin is all Always on the top and then if you have other standard users it will show up here so we're going to set the password one two three four and one two three four to confirm it and we're going to do set password now the continue button uh, will show up and there will be a green check mark it means that you have successfully changed the password so click on continue and this will do the process of data transfer so it says here the migration is complete we could click restart now or wait for the countdown so i could click restart now 
on the left side says migration complete so from the migration completed you could just quit it and this one will go back to the login screen of the computer so with the one two three four and once you're logged in with this old computer verify first if the information has successfully transferred before you wipe the device so i have sample folders here i transferred something to the photos app so at least we will know that we have successfully transferred the information from one computer to the other on the right side it says migration completed and we're going to click on done it's going to bring you to the login page and let's wait for it to finish its final setup. You could just skip it if you don't want accessibility for now. I won't put in any Apple ID for now, but if you want to put your own Apple ID, do it here. I'm going to set it up later and I'm going to skip. So this computer has a touch ID. I'm going to set it up later and we are on the main screen. You might notice we do have the folder from the left, which is sample one and sample two. We do have the folder here, sample one, in sample 2. The relocated items are the ones that are incompatible with the new computer. Another one is just to see if the photos transferred and let me just here click on get started. It says it's going to update the library. This one is the same photo that we have on the left. So I've been noticing that there are a lot of viewers that are not subscribed. It would give me a big help if you're going to click on the subscribe button and also click the bell button so at least you know if we have new videos coming up. If you have any comments or suggestions or videos that you want me to do, just comment down below. And again, thank you very much and have a good day.